Oh yeah. I almost forgot to do this tonight. Just kind of crawled in bed and just been laying here. Finally got a good night's sleep last night. Uh, so that's nice. More Witcher 3 today. <laughs> Funny story. Both Tywin Lannister and Robert Baratheon are in this game. And they're playing fairly similar roles. <laughs> so that's fun. zoned out again for like a full 30 seconds there I think that's fun <laughs> my mind's been missing a bit the last few days but not where it matters I guess I just that means I just said this doesn't matter I guess cosmically it doesn't it only really matters to me And I guess what I mean by when it matters, it, just, it means when like I'm actually having interactions with other human beings. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm kind of content to just exist for the most part. Which is okay. I've claimed to be content before, but it, there, is, there is some true contentness in this. It's not like I'm disassociating or... Um, paralyzed <laughs> with anxiety or um, existential dread or anything like that. Trapped in old shitty memories. Just kind of exist. And you know, that's fine. You know, I always, this is going to seem random, but it'll make sense in a minute. As long as I remember, I've, like, made up stories when I'm trying to fall asleep. And as long as I could remember, in the beginning, I, I kind of, as I imagined dialogue and stuff, said it out loud. It was carried over into my writing some, which was good, because... Sometimes you read it, read something, and it seems fine. And you say it out loud, and it doesn't make any sense. And yeah, if I'm just gonna write. That might not be important. But at the same time, I like to try and be as non-muddled as possible. So part of me wonders if it's not gonna sound right out loud, then maybe on paper it would sound wrong to non-English speakers or whatever um, but anyhow point being as I would get more and more tired the dialogue <sighs> would get more and more internal and I feel like I've hit the point of comfort with this series or whatever Maybe not, maybe point of comfort is not the right word, but, um, I just, I start doing that with this now. I'll have a single thought out loud, and then I'll have several, several more internally, and... You know, sometimes it is finding the right word. Sometimes it is deciding whether or not I want to talk about it. Um, but others, it's... Sometimes it's just... Saying a word or something and being reminded of something really stupid that's not significant. 
like a quote or something stupid like that. Um, I am a bit more distractible these nights though. Because I, I think it was last night or the night before, I was zoned out for like a full 20 seconds and just, just because I got distracted by Vinny, on, which is on loop on my night noise, which doesn't make sense because all the videos in this playlist I about know my heart. It's kind of the point of them. And I like, you know, I picked them because I know them well enough that they're not going to demand my attention. And they're more chill. Um, so, you know, decent chunks of Vinny not really saying anything. And his voice isn't jarring to me. Uh, like, again, mostly because, like, I just about know what's going to be said. I've listened to them so much. It, obviously in my sleep too, I think you do subconsciously. Uh, like that kind of gets burned into your subconscious the same way song lyrics do. And what I mean by that is um, that thing where you could be struggling to remember a song's lyrics or even um, its melody or whatever, but the second you hear a piece of it, you recall all of it crystal clear. And that's what I consider like subconscious memory. It's like the second it, it subconscious memory has to be triggered. Where, you know, conscious memory is readily available. Here you go. I'm tired and I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Good night.